Hey, it's Dave from the Camera Store. Today we're going to talk about the Canon RF 50mm 1.8 STM lens. The EF 50mm 1.8 lens was an incredibly popular lens. It was a lens kind of for the masses because it was so inexpensive but delivered really exceptional results. It was the first lens a lot of people bought that allowed them to take really shallow depth of field images and finally be able to shoot at 1.8 aperture and shoot low light kind of stuff. This new lens builds upon a great past and I'm looking forward to see what the new lens is going to do on these new generation bodies. When you first get your hands on the RF 50 millimeter, you realize how lightweight this lens is. It's only 160 grams and it is not very big at all. It's only about an inch and a half or about three or four centimeters long. You can see it on the R5 here. It doesn't take up much space whatsoever. What I do like about this lens is it doesn't feel like an entry level lens. The build quality is very nice and I'm very happy to see that Canon kept a metal lens mount rather than anything else. Now, keep in mind this lens is not weather sealed, so certainly take precautions if you're going to shoot in extreme heavy snow or rain. This lens has a minimum focusing distance of 30 centimeters. Take a look at what I was able to capture here of my daughter's eyes. They kept the design of this lens very simple. We have the control ring here, but we also have a switcher. We go either control or focus. If you want to use that control ring for focusing, you need to set it up in the camera itself. This lens features a 43 millimeter filter thread, and I'm interested to see what kind of image quality I can get out of this camera. Let's go grab some shots. When Canon brought the RF mount to market, they promised us better image quality than we've ever seen before. And we're seeing it with a lot of their high-end lenses. They are exceptional lenses. But on these economical lenses, I wasn't expecting as good a performance as I'm getting out of this lens. Now, I kind of went with the extreme. This is Canon's least expensive lens at the time, and I'm running it on the Canon R5, which is their 45 megapixel beast of a camera. So it's kind of the extreme on either end. But I'm really impressed with the image quality I'm getting out of this. The center sharpness, even at 1.8, is very, very good. It does fade off to the edge a little bit but once you stop it down to about f4 you see a significant improvement in sharpness across the entire frame this lens does feature 1.8 aperture and that's great if i want to get my subject to kind of pop off the background it gives me a lot of low light capability as well now we are dealing with a seven bladed aperture and the bulk is quite nice out of it but it's not as pleasing as some higher end lenses that's for sure Something else I was pleasantly surprised with this lens is how well it dealt with chromatic aberration. It wasn't nearly as bad as I was expecting and is quite easily corrected for in post-production. Even though this lens only has seven aperture blades, you can still really get some nice sun stars. When it comes to focusing speed, this has the STM motor, which stands for stepless motor. And it's very quick and it's very smooth and quiet. Take a look at this example of me on the wall. I also find that for video, it is very smooth and really nice and quiet. It's only in the quietest situations you're going to maybe hear the focusing motor a little bit. The 50 millimeter focal length is a very popular focal length with good reason. It is the same perspective as what the human eye sees. What that means is when I'm looking through the viewfinder of a full frame camera and a 50 millimeter lens, my subject appears of the same size as what I'd see with my naked eye. Now this is great as I'm walking around because it helps me really visualize exactly what I'm going to see. This lens is a great lens for general purpose photography. I like using it for portraits and for landscapes and just for general purposes. It's one of the favorite focal lengths for a lot of street photographers. It gets them just the right perspective. Keep in mind this is a prime lens so you have to move around to get the framing you want. You can't just reframe things with a twist of a wrist. Up until now, if you wanted to put a 50mm lens onto your ESR body, you either had to use the adapter, one of the many EF lenses available to you, or invest heavily into the 50mm 1.2 lens, which is an amazing lens, but it's about 400 times more expensive than this lens and weighs significantly more. The image quality I'm getting out of this RF 50mm 1.8 STM lens is fantastic. It's a great bang for the buck lens, and I highly recommend it to anybody to pick it up. If you take a look at this lens at 1.8 compared to the 50 millimeter 1.2 certainly the 1.2 is going to outperform it but by how much as soon as i stop these lenses both down to about f4 can you tell the difference between these two images 
Now YouTube probably isn't the best forum to show off the two image quality here, but I can tell you that they are remarkably close. Overall, I highly recommend this lens. I love the image quality I'm getting out of it, and it represents a tremendous value. Now whether you're using it on a high-end Canon EOS R5, or you just got your very first Canon EOS RP, you're going to love the results you're getting out of this camera. Now I of course really want to know what you guys think of this lens. Do you already have one? Are you planning on purchasing one? Leave the comments down below. Please follow us on Instagram and please subscribe, hit the notification bell. We'll catch you again really soon. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you want to check out our most recent episode, click up here. Please subscribe. And if you're a Canadian and want to shop local, check out thecamerastore.com.